Welcome to Inside Out Pain Relief, One Easy Way to Ignite Your Core Support. My name is Ann Asher and I will be your facilitator for the next 10 minutes or so. I'm a certified health coach and a certified orthopedic exercise specialist. I consider myself to be an exercise for chronic pain relief specialist. And I've written a book called Inside Out Pain Relief, The Human Approach to Healing Your Body. Now, the reason why I'm giving this webinar today is, first and foremost, I'd like to make my book more accessible to readers, to give a little bit of a human touch in the process, because most of what I write about uh, is taken directly from <clears throat> the many, many sessions I've had with clients over the years, and so it's kind of like having a session with me. So I wanted to try to, try to provide a human touch, and also um, to make any clarifications, um, to just provide some kind of real-time experience related to the material in the book. That's my first and foremost goal here, but also I'm starting to venture forward into the world of webinars, and I thought, well, why not marry the two ideas and make some short webinars that I can practice the technology on, and at the same time help readers of my book and anybody else who may be interested in this work to um, have a few experiences and try it on and you know, get it to work for you and that kind of thing. Uh, if you find that you're interested in the book, you can certainly get that at Kindle. Um, this link down here, www.posturally, P-O-S-T-U-R-A-L-L-Y dot com slash book, will take you right to Amazon. So that's one way you can get the book. And the other way that you can get the book is through a PDF. So you'd have to email me, and that's a Gmail address. So that would be posturally, P-O-S-T-U-R-A-L-L-Y at gmail.com. Two ways to get the book. So let's get right to it. Um, today, actually what I plan to do with this topic, which is the quick ab pull-in maneuver, um, that is the one easy way to ignite your core support. Um, we're going to learn that maneuver today, the action of it and the reasons why it's such a great idea. And by the way, this quick ab pull-in is the first thing I started with when my back was basically falling apart at the seams and I could barely do anything I wanted to do. This was the first thing that I learned and it's stayed with me for decades. It's a wonderful little trick. Uh, and it's a tr it's not really a trick, you know, but it, it kind of can be taken into many things later. It can be taken into uh, exercise. And as you'll see in my two follow-up webinars that I'm planning in the next, you know, week or two, maybe three, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, in those two follow-up webinars, you will learn a couple of holistic approaches for getting this particular maneuver done. So we'll use breathing and imagery. But for today, we need to understand what it is our goal, what our goal is, and why we would want to do it, and how to do it. You know, what action are we looking for? And then we can apply breathing and imageries to help us along. So look for those webinars later. Again, they'll be about 10 minutes each. They're totally free. You don't have to sign up for anything. You're just helping me practice with my web webinars. And so that's my way of saying thank you. All right, so in my book, I talk a lot about what I call the exercise paradigm shift. And basically what that is, is a way to use movement, very simple movement strategically, so that you quote unquote get your core muscles and then you can work them. And the idea with the paradigm shift is that you, unlike a lot of movements or movement instructions that get interpreted where you say, okay, slide a leg out or lift an arm, the exercise is not about that leg or arm maneuver, but rather we learn how to keep the core in alignment and stationary. And then when we do movements with the arms, the legs, the combination of arms and legs, and, and once we get a little more skilled, the trunk itself, uh, the goal is actually to keep that trunk stationary. And again, that's why I say it's a little more uh, advanced when you're moving the trunk because you're moving it at the same time you're applying the principles of stability. So that's a little further along. We do definitely cover that in the book, though. Um, <clears throat> so the goal with the paradigm shift, then, is to challenge the core to stay stationary by doing all kinds of antics around it with our arms, legs, and eventually the trunk itself. And this is how I have helped hundreds if not thousands of clients and students and readers uh, to get onto a new road of physical well-being. It's a wonderful way to work. To that end, we're going to get right to it. I'd like to introduce you to a muscle 
called your transverse abdominis muscle. Now in the book, I go through all six of your muscles. It's actually, you know, um, two singular muscles, the transverse ab being one of them, and then two groups of two. So there's six all together. Um, and we talk about them all and all, each one's relationship to support for your body and support for your back. But today we're just going to cut to the chase of the most deep ab called your transverse abdominis muscle. And here you can see a, a picture of sort of how it is. It's um, located underneath all of the other muscles and the fibers of the muscle go all the way around your trunk so they're horizontal and it's very much like nature's back belt you know except that you have your own back belt so rather than hoping that something you wear is going to help give you a little bit of, little bit of cinch in to support you you can control it yourself and you can make it strong and flexible and you can make it knowledgeable about the way that you move and use that as your body support by the way this little um um, <clears throat> illustration here is an example of the way that I try to communicate c uh, concepts to people in the book. So I don't leave you hanging with a lot of jargon, though there is quite a bit of information in there. You will get these fun little illustrations, and sometimes they have little quips in them and this and that, so that you can really get what I'm talking about in a very simple way. But anyway, so you see the transverse ab muscle. It's horizontal. The fibers of it go all the way around. And the point that we want to work with today is going to be below your belly button by a couple of inches. Okay, now, you know, it depends on how big the belly is, whether it's a bunch of inches or just a few little inches. But either way, um, I want you to try to locate that place under the belly. If you've ever done any martial arts, this is called the Dan Tien. If you've done Pilates, this is called the Pilates Powerhouse. But the name does not matter. The place is going to be the same the whole time. And when this transverse abdominal muscle works, when it the muscle fibers that wrap around contract, what they do is they cinch in towards that center place that's underneath the belly button. So that tightens everything into the center, and that's what brings support to the body. So this is a very basic move where you can start that process of bringing the, the muscle in to collect everything, to collect your joints together, to collect everything so that you're nice and supported at a very foundational place because this pelvis that we're talking about is at the physical center of your body. So if you can get that supported, the things above and below it are likely going to have an easier time being supported because you've got something that can reach above and reach below with its influence of having be, been supported by means of tightening up this nice transverse ab. <clears throat> so let's get to it again. I'd like you to position yourself for the quick ab pull-in. Um, and you can see here is another illustration taken from the book. Nice and simple, a basic alignment position. Know that the padding under her head and neck is totally optional. This is about comfort. So if you're comfortable putting something there, just, you know, we just don't want you in pain and strain. That's the main thing. And her position is such that she, her knees are lying, uh, I'm sorry, her knees are bent. Her feet are flat on the floor. Her, she's open across the front of her chest. Her arms are long by her side. And the chin is neither jutted up towards the ceiling nor jammed down to her chest, but somewhere in between. And this is a pretty good alignment to start with. Um, if you're really serious about healing body pain and getting past long-standing chronic pain, you need a little more because we need to pay some t attention to the way your pelvis is aligned and the pelvis is positioned and also the ribs. So the book will walk you through that process in a, quite a bit of detail, has great illustrations, lots of good metaphors that make it super easy to figure out what I'm telling you. Um, but for today, you're good to go because all we're going to do is learn about this important muscle and feel it work. And then even for the next two webinars, you're also good to go because these are holistic weave-ins that can help you find the muscle even more and use the muscle even more. So you're fine here, but if you're really serious about healing long-standing pain, you definitely need a little bit more instruction around how to align your body um, and how to find certain places and how they work together. All right. So we have gotten ourselves positioned for the quick ab pull-in. Let us do this thing. And I've got, I put the picture here, um, again, just for your reference, a little hand-holding as you do this work. So the first thing I'd like you to do is simply take a nice deep inhale, filling your world with air, 
nourishing those cells with the air that comes in and then exhale the air out. Don't force it out, but just let it out as it will come and let the body relax. And we're going to try this again. Inhale again, filling up your world with air and exhale, relax. And especially think about releasing and letting go of the neck, shoulders, ribs, and pelvis structures. You might think about allowing them to sink into the floor. And let's try that once more. We're just preparing here, just in case you hadn't figured that out. Uh, inhale, taking the air in, nourishing your cells. Exhale, let the weight of your head, your shoulders, your ribs, and your pelvis drop into the floor. The floor can take that weight and you can relax. You're preparing. We especially want to release and relax the upper body from the bottom of the ribs up to the top of the head. Letting that go. We, don't, we just don't need the influence of that today. Okay, so now you're ready for the action. Are you ready? Let's do this. Um, <clears throat> one more time, we want to inhale and exhale. Begin to release your air, but towards the end of the exhale or right at the e end of the exhale, I want you to pull in that place below your belly button. Okay, pull it into the back of your spine or the back of your back and relax. And again, inhale, take that air in, nourish yourself with air. Exhale, begin to release, relax towards the end of the exhale, underneath the belly button, pull it into the spine, but do it just to the point where you have no other movement in your body. It's only the muscle that's working, and then relax. So the point here is that we're going to probably have a very small muscle contraction because I'm asking you to consciously not allow the pelvis to move at all. This muscle by its nature does move the pelvis and this time we want to just keep this to the point where we can um, be aware of the contraction of the muscle and not have to deal with what the muscle does when it contracts. We get to that later in the exercise section of the book um, but we you know the idea here is to develop some awareness of this important area of the body and how it feels to use this muscle a lot of people haven't really used this muscle don't even know it's there that certainly was my situation when I first started I was like I didn't even know anything <laughs> and I found out real quick because it helped me so very much to have that muscle in gear let's try this one more time inhale nourish your world with air exhale relax release towards the end of the e exhale Pull in the place below your belly button towards your spine without allowing the pelvic bone to be affected by that muscle contraction. Nice small little movement. It's about you feeling that muscle work. And then inhale again, nourish and relax and release. And that's as simple as it is. Now when you practice this, you might definitely want to check, well, uh, when I do this, is my pelvis moving? And if my pelvis is moving, what happens with my low back? Because that's going to be too much movement. If you feel those areas tilt or touch the floor or any of that, we're just kind of looking to feel what happens underneath the belly button. Just get the muscle ignited. So the quick ab pull-in exercise or maneuver, what you'd like to call it, is really a core, a, an opportunity to ignite your core. It's one of the first things you would do to become a person that has a lot of core stability and strength. And as most of us know who have been reading the media, maybe going to physical therapy, fitness classes, the strong core is key for a healthy, happy, pain-free low back. And also many other areas of the body too. So I like to think of core ignition with the quick ab pull-in as the start of a healing relationship with your body. This little maneuver can help you turn exercise into a therapeutic experience. So there you have it. If you're interested, if you can't wait uh, for any, whenever it is I get it together to do more webinars, because I don't know when I do them, whenever I have time I'll, I'll create one. You can certainly get the book at Kindle, which um, this link here, posturally, P-O-S-T-U-R-A-L-L-Y dot com slash book will take you right there. You can just type that into your um, address bar in your browser. Or if you'd like a PDF version, email me, P-O-S-T-U-R-A-L-L-Y at gmail dot com. And we can talk about getting you the PDF version of the book. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you all the core support and body healing you can possibly manage in your life.